Hi students, this is Miss Morrow. Today we're going to be making a cupcake, a crayon resist cupcake. We're inspired by Wayne Tebow and he was an artist that liked to paint a lot of food and just everyday objects like shoes. If you'll notice on the top part of the cupcake, I added some sprinkles. That shows a lot of repetition. And then we also have some repetition and some lines down here on the cupcake liner. Okay, let's get started. What we're going to need is a piece of white paper, a few markers, and crayons. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and draw the cupcake liner. It's shaped like this, and if you'll notice, it has a lot of lines on it that are repeated, so that's going to show repetition. So right here, about in the middle of your paper, I'm going to draw just a line straight across. And then I'm going to come down and angle it a little bit toward the center at the bottom. So I'm going to go over those one more time and make that line thick. And then I'll go across the bottom. Now I'm going to make these lines. They go down toward the bottom from the top. If you'll see them right there also. They're like ridges. Just space them apart about the same all the way across. I'm going to go over them one more time because I really want them to show off. Okay, now I'm going to do the draw the top part. I'm just going to take a red. You could pick any any color that you want. You might pick your favorite flavor of frosting for your cupcake. It might be chocolate or strawberry, pink. I'm going to go over it one more time. Or it might be raspberry or blueberry. Okay, now that I've outlined the frosting at the top, I'm going to come in here with some kind of light colors. And I'm going to draw just little lines, little short lines. I'm making a pattern with little lines. Now I'm going to change colors. I'm going to pick a kind of a yellow green. So I had light blue, yellow green. You can choose whatever colors you want for your sprinkles. And then I have a dark pink. And I'm just mixing up and turning my lines different directions. So it looks like random sprinkles laying all around my cupcake. Okay. The last part, I'm going to choose, um, I'm going to choose a lighter shade of blue that goes with my dark blue for my cupcake liner. So I'm going to color lightly on my cup, the bottom of the cupcake. I don't need very much ink, just a little bit. And then on my top part, I want to use like a strawberry color or a pink. So I'm going to color up here very lightly. I can color right on top of my crayon sprinkles. The crayon will resist the marker ink. And so they'll still show up once we get through. Now I'm going to color a background color. If you have time, you could add a little bit of color to your background. I chose a light green or a yellow green. You don't have to color it in solid. Just make some lines going around. because we're gonna wet it with water. So I'm gonna color all the way around my cupcake on my background. I just kind of turn my marker to the side and color lightly. Now, we can either paint it with a paintbrush and water. So I'll get my paint, brush in my water right here and you can either start painting it like this and all you're doing is just blending the water right on top of your marker 
blending out that blue. Notice how I'm picking up a little water each time. And I've got a paper towel here. I can take some of that blue water off. And then I want to clean my brush in the water before I go to the pink color. So I'm just painting water onto my pink frosting. And if you don't have a brush and water, you could always use a spray bottle and hold it up kind of high and just mist it like this. So I'm gonna spray all over my picture. So you can use a spray bottle or a paintbrush. Now let's take a look back a look at my finished project. If you'll notice, you can see the crayons and look at the sprinkles. They really show up good. The crayons resisted the marker ink in the water. 